What's going on guys, welcome back, and today we get a brand new video on Luna 2.0 because it officially launched, and yeah, it launched, and it didn't go very well. A uh, very big dump of like 70 or 80% right after they launched. Pretty much to be expected. You gave away free tokens to a group of people that lost a lot of money. Some lost their entire life savings. So you give free money to some the people who lost everything. They're probably just going to try and recoup some of those losses as well as there's nothing really going on for Luna or Terra Luna as they abandoned the stablecoin model because that's what broke them. So now it's just kind of a coin that really doesn't do anything. And you can see here, this is the price chart of the new Luna 2.0. Uh, it's just, I mean, this is just the picture of health, isn't it? Just the massive dump. And I don't even think the full supply of their airdrop is out. I think it's only like 30% is even on the market right now so uh massive dump already going trending to being worthless we can look at terra what is now terra classic you can see them i mean these two charts it's very similar very similar looking charts here uh you know just massive dumps down into becoming worthless and i mean this looks the same it launches at like 17 or 18 dollars almost gets up to 20 bucks about and then drastic collapse and seems to like be fluttering to nothingness here kind of just like this we saw the huge collapse going to nothingness but if we look here on this uh right side we can kind of see that people are not really uh loving of the new luna 2.0 here you can see don't buy luna 2 only buy luna classic uh, Luna, this is a scam. This guy calling both of them a scam. He'd be right. Uh, and then Red Alert, it's a scam. Talking about the new Luna. Everyone seems to be against the new Luna, this thing. And it is completely valid that they are against it and don't really like it, as it doesn't make people who got, you know, absolutely devastated from before. It doesn't make them whole or do anything for them. It really just creates a whole new thing. And Terra structured it in a way where they could benefit from this whole thing here and try and revive Terra, but also making sure they get their fair share of the pie. You can see just moments after launching, uh, had Justin Luna 2.0 is down 80% after launching hours ago. So within a couple hours of their launch, down 80%, almost down worthless, just like the original Terra. So nothing really changing there. And as well, you got these memes. If you liked losing all of your money with Luna 1.0, you're going to love losing all of your money with Luna 2.0. And don't you even worry, because Luna 3.0, that's going to make you lose all your money for a third time. So that's what we're all waiting on, Luna 3.0, because this chart doesn't sell confidence in Luna 2.0 succeeding. But if we look at some of these ways that this stuff was structured and how this airdrop worked, we can have right here talking about still not all the airdrop tokens are claimable at launch. Only 30% of the initial supply can be immediately claimed. The remaining 70% of the airdrop amount has been staked directly with validators to ensure network security, and those will vest in as long as two years. So not only is the whole kind of airdrop not going out, 70% is being locked up and staked and saying for network security, but it's probably just so it doesn't go absolutely to nothing immediately. And they can have some sort of semblance of the supply that's in strong hands because it's forced to be. But with only 30% out, it dumped 70 to 80% on launch with only 30% of the supply. And the rest of this supply just locked up with validators for as long as two years. It's it's a way, I guess, to keep the validators on the network so they can continue running the blockchain and kind of give them that thing to provide value for the blockchain because in two years, they're going to get their Luna and they're going to want it to be worth some sort of money. Uh, at this rate, doesn't look like that's going to be the case. But an even more interesting kind of thing, breaking down the 700 million. So it's a billion tokens which obviously 30% would be 300 million, 70%, 700 million. So the 700 million Luna tokens divided among top two investor categories, Terra's community pool and on-chain treasury fund is set to receive 30%. So 300 million of Luna 
on Terra 2.0. The community pool is controlled by Terra governance to fund development activities. So Terra making sure they can get their part of the pie. If this thing does blow up, they want to secure that they have a lot of money and that they can actually benefit from making this Terra 2.0. Um, I guess the governance token may be out there somewhere, or maybe Luna is that, but if they give themselves 30%, they've given themselves pretty good control over the network. Um, and then you can see also of the total pool amount, 30 million are assigned for developers who have decided to remain and rebuild on the new Terra chain, according to earlier announcement. So they are desperately trying to bring over their the developers that were on Terra before or building out things before and they bribed them with 30 million new tokens to kind of give them for free which is just gonna add more selling pressure because either they're gonna sell them to try and just claim the money or they're gonna sell them to use the money to build whatever they're developing so more selling pressure put on the, the whole thing and we know what selling pressure does to to tokens really brings them down but not only that the community pool but it's controlled by Terra governance. So it's a community pool, but really it's Terra's pool of money that they can use to try and advertise more or push forward Terra, Luna, or try and get more eyes on it or do whatever they're going to do. Uh, but another big thing about them as well was they, we know this is the new Terra, this whole new logo, Luna 2.0. And instead of naming this Luna 2.0 or Terra Luna 2.0 or something so people would know what they're looking at. They named it Terra Luna and then renamed the old one Terra Classic. So it seems like they're trying to get around, trying to bury this so people don't really look at this. They even changed the ticker and made it go to this. So people who saw the collapse of Terra, uh, the original one, saw it go to this price. If they look it up now, they're going to find this and they're going to say, oh my God, oh my god did did luna recover is it doing great should i put more money in is it going to do great and try and do bait people into putting money in or investing luna that's what it feels like they're doing with the name at least to me but so they got some weird things going on with the name they got some weird things going on with how these different pools are controlled and locking up 70 percent and only putting 30 percent out there uh, just a lot of things that are kind of weird and why they wouldn't just let everyone have everything and then see if it survives. And if it does survive, start building. Chances are it wasn't, and that's probably why they put all these things in place to try and make sure that it has the best chance of not just going to completely zero again. And looking at Doquan's Twitter account, for some reason, his bio still reads Master of Stablecoin. It should probably read Master of Not-So-Stablecoin, because as we all know, UST went to absolutely nothing, and that was his stablecoin. And if he's a master of stablecoin, he's so good at them that he cut them all from Luna 2.0 so that they didn't have to deal with it, and they could deal with Luna doing nothing, because that was the whole point of the thing, was algo, an algo stablecoin, and now they got rid of that, so what's the point? But on top of that, if we look at his retweets, we can look down. We have something he retweeted which seems like people might be falling into the exact same trap that was with the problem with Luna before. And that is this right here with Luna trading online USDT, which is Tether or USDC, which is like Coinbase's stablecoin. Then, then you could stake soon for 7% APY. I wonder where we saw something like this before. So what caused the downfall of luna was their 20 percent anchor protocol apy the best in the business people thought it was super safe so but if people look at this and this one might take longer to collapse because it's only seven percent maybe they can try and fund it for as much as possible but if people look at this and don't look back to the anchor protocol seeing how insane that those were, it was at 20% and it collapsed very hard in a pretty short period of time uh, leading up to the collapse. So this is 7%, maybe it lasts longer, but it's the exact same thing where if you have this Ponzi scheme set up, the new money stops flowing in, everything falls apart. So if you fall for this and you go into this and you say, well, it's not, it's not UST. It's not, it's not a Terra UST. So we can, we can trust it more it's still going to be the same kind of structure of how it was before. 
just with a smaller APY to maybe hopefully prolong it and hope for it not to collapse, but at some point, it will. And it's just weird to have Doquan retweeting this, knowing that something like this was a huge reason for the collapse and loss of everything in the first original Luna. So weird to see him promoting that and going on all about that, but who knows? Uh, it's crazy. If you're investing in Luna 2.0, and you have confidence to put your money in Luna and behind Do Kwan after what already happened, that's a little insane. So the Luna 2.0 launch didn't go very smooth. Maybe Luna 3.0 will be better, but a 70 to 80% drop within the first few hours of trading, and it seems to be staying down there. Maybe it has pumps here and there as people who are looking up Luna think that it's recovered and go back into it or something, but I don't know. If there's any point or reason for Luna to be around, if they cut the stablecoin out, which was pretty much the entire point of Luna existing in the first place. So we'll see what happens. Time will tell. I don't think that it's going to end well. And especially if they try and do these 7% APYs and these staking things that already were ultimately the downfall before of Luna. Maybe they're trying to repeat it yet again, but do it on a slower time period this time and it's just going to end the exact same way as the original one did. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in my next video.